The Confederate flag and whether or not it should be banned from a school district's dress code has been a heated discussion for months in one local community. And tonight, school board members finally made a decision. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett is uh, live in the studio tonight to walk us through what happened. Well, guys, ultimately, the board did not vote to ban the Confederate flag. The, the issues that they butted heads over included whether or not having that uh, Confederate flag banned could create an issue or a disruption for students and what the legal ramifications could be for the school district. The flag serves as a potent symbol of slavery and white supremacy. And I would urge those who, uh, who want to walk around uh, on this earth spring loaded in the offended position please just get over it thank you for your time a contentious franklin county school board meeting monday night ended in a seven to one vote to pass a new dress code but an amendment specifically banning the confederate flag did not pass the board was split four to four. Back in October, the only African-American member of the board, Penny Blue, proposed that amendment to the dress code, which does say that clothing may not depict discriminatory, obscene, or hate speech imagery. Though Blue says, and since the Confederate flag does not have to even be involved in the racial issue because it is a symbol of the dispute. It is a symbol of the Civil War. Board members who opposed the ban referred to the recommendation from the school district's attorney, who cited previous court cases, fearing the move would infringe on students' free speech and the district might face a lawsuit itself. Larry Darnell Moore II, a Franklin County teacher, says the Confederate flag hasn't caused an issue in the schools, but it does still impact a minority of the student population. I guess I'm unhappy with the decision. I would like a little more direction in what we would like and what we would not like seen. I think uh, we've used kind of the heritage part of the Confederate flag to hide a lot of history and misteach history. And I, I think because of that, it's, it's really time to step forward and kind of be decisive about how we're going to view things as Americans. That teacher added that having this conversation is a step in the right direction. Just by talking about the issue, it can raise awareness and bring both sides together. Now, the board can amend the dress code in the future. Live in the studio, Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you.